I am convinced that kids love curries. Hey guys, welcome back. It is a back to school week. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a really yummy but mild potato curry. And that way it's easy for everyone to consume, especially kids. With this back to school week as usual, I'm trying to make the recipes really easy for you guys and then to load them up with vegetables. And really all you do is you can pour it over a bed of rice or if your local grocery store carries non-dairy non, um, feel free to bring that or or even like a pita or like a piece of flatbread or something. It's going to be delicious uh, with this curry. So I hope you guys will enjoy. So I know how intimidating some Indian curries are because there are usually loads of ingredients. Well, what you see here is basically what we're using. You have potatoes, um, tomatoes, and then some onions, as well as four different spices. So recipe is going to be down below, but you do want to start off by cutting up about three medium potatoes. And the smaller the pieces, the quicker they will be to cook. But at the same time, you want some of them to be, you know, nice and chunky for the curry as well. So you guys can choose to do this recipe with oil or without, and today I'm gonna choose to do it without. It's just gonna be cleaner that way, it's a little easier on the arteries afterwards. So one teaspoon of black mustard seeds go in, and I'm just toasting them until they start popping, and that just takes about a minute uh, or two. And then afterwards, I'm going to add in my sliced up onions. Now you guys are gonna ask, okay, well how am I gonna brown these? How am I gonna caramelize these without a little bit of oil? And really you just put in like one or two tablespoons of water at a time. And this is over medium to medium high heat. And we're just gonna cook the onions first until they get translucent. And then afterwards they will start caramelizing. And you just continue deglazing the bottom of the pan with a little bit of water. So this looks perfect. It took about four to five minutes and now that it's nice and caramelized, I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of turmeric, some ground coriander, as well as some ground cumin. And then all of the potatoes go in. So again, recipe is going to be down below. I'm gonna make sure that the spices coat all of the potatoes before I add in everything else. A 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes went in as well as a can and a half of water. So I'm just gonna cover that, bring that up to a boil and then lower it to a simmer and cook for about, I'd say 35 minutes, but you're just looking for the point when the potatoes get soft. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I wasn't sure if you guys were up for making your own naan, but it is such an easy recipe, so I added that in. Um, I have a cup of flour that I've mixed some baking powder and salt into, and then the rest is just yogurt. So I have a little over a half a cup of a non-dairy yogurt, and you just mix all of that together. It doesn't need to be kneaded too much. It doesn't need to be a smooth ball or anything. Um, afterwards, just cover it for about 30 minutes to rest and then divide them into three and then shape them into long flatbread pieces. I have a nice hot dry pan over medium high heat and um, I'm just going to put the flatbreads on for around two minutes each side until they puff up like this and you just want to check them by turning them over. Once they get to the right color, just flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Once the potatoes are cooked and soft enough for your liking, you want to adjust for flavor. So I usually add in about a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of sugar, but it is really to your liking. So make sure to taste before adding in your final one cup of greens. And this is anything that you have available at the house. It just adds some extra kind of freshness, extra greens, extra vegetables to the curry. Once the greens have wilted, you are ready to serve this amazingly hearty and yummy curry. is really a mild but super comforting curry. And um, this is one where if you don't like potatoes, try it with daikon radish and cut it up into cubes. It works the same way and is also super, super good. Anyways, I hope you all have enjoyed this potato curry and really easy naan bread. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the week as we have one more to go and I'm going to actually do a full recap of everything. So make sure that you have seen the other ones though. So those are the dumplings, we have the mac and cheese and also the gimbap. They're all super, super delicious. As usual, if you wanna see more recipes like this, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys all again soon. Bye.